Middlesbrough have had an amazing year in the Championship. They finished fourth at the end of the season, qualifying for the playoffs where they unfortunately lost to Coventry City 1-0 on aggregate. But today I'm taking charge of Middlesbrough not only will I get them back in the Premier League, I will make them the best team in the world. So this is the starting 11 I've loaded into and for the Championship, this team is really goddamn good. With the likes of Chuba Akbar, Isaiah Jones and also Dale Fry. But we do have an issue where half the players we've got in our starting 11 are on loan to us this season. And we do have 13 million to spend now i'm not going to try and outsource other players i'm going to go a different route i'm going to properly look at these loan players and see which ones i want to keep in this team now the first one i'm going for is actually ryan giles who's 22 years old 73 rated he could be a pivotal part of us getting promoted this season and for just three million pounds we made ryan giles a permanent middles player and the next player might surprise you aaron ramsey 69 rated at 19 years old we put him on the correct training plan he's going to turn into a world beater and for only 2.4 million and we actually made this deal happen and he's now officially a Middlesbrough player. And the last lone player I'm signing is Rodrigo Muniz. He's 21 years old, 69 rated. I reckon he's going to be a will beater for us. And we had a bargain with this one. We only had to pay out 2.6 million for him. And boys, we've got an absolute gem in our youth academy. Henry Brooks, who's 77 rated at 17 years old. I think we found our future captain. Now we do still have 3 million left to spend, but I'm going to save that until January just in case. And do you know what? I do like the 4-2-3-1, but I don't think it suits this team at all. With the players the squad has, the 4-4-2 is honestly the best route to go for with Middlesbrough. And with a simple formation change, just take a look at how much better this squad actually looks. Now we do have one problem, Fours is currently playing out of position. And to convert him to a right midfielder, it will take him over 100 weeks to do it, but for now, I'm happy to settle for that. But with everything said and done, this is the team heading into our first year in charge of Middlesbrough. And I've already said we can get promotion with this team, and that is exactly what I want to achieve cheap by the end of this season. Well boys our chances of promotion are looking very promising. We are third in the league only two points behind second place Norwich. And Akbom is playing very well. 23 goals, 6 assists in 29 games. That's a goal contribution a game. Now we do have 4 million in our budget. And as you can see the weakest part about this team is our right midfielder fours who still hasn't converted to a right midfielder. So you know where I'm going with this. I'm going to try and use that 4 million to bring in a brand new winger. And I found a winger that will last for a couple of seasons at least Orm Wan Sang, who currently plays in the Korean League. He's 23 years old, 72 rated, and he's absolutely rappy. And he is now officially a Middlesbrough player, and he only cost us 3.1 million. And that's our last transfer of the season, meaning this is the team that is going to finish off our year in the championship. Right now we're in the playoffs and we're comfortably there as well, but I'm greedy. I want automatic promotion. I think these boys have definitely got what it takes to do it. Well, we've arrived in May and boys, we pulled it off. We finished second in the championship. We have got promotion in our first season in charge of Middlesbrough. But when you look at the team, you shouldn't really expect anything less from them. I can see Akbon being a problem next year. 39 goals, 11 assists in 50 games. That is literally a goal contribution a game. This man's a Don. And right now we only have two lone players in our team and one of them's the goal goalkeeper we can definitely sort that out no problem next year but this year i set a target to gain automatic promotion and that is exactly what this team has accomplished now next season we need to bolster this team as much as possible so that we don't get relegated we're now into season two and when you take a look at this team it's very obvious where we need to improve it we obviously need a better goalkeeper i'm thinking a better center back and definitely a better center midfielder once we sort those positions out i don't think we're going to be in a relegation battle i think we'll be fighting for a mid-table finish and we've been given a lot more money than last year 54 million to spend in season two. Now the goalkeeper I'm going for has already spent a year in the Prem and he's kept that team up. Kaylor Navas, he's 36 years old, 85 rated. He'll definitely do the job for at least two seasons. And because he only had 12 months left on his contract, we only paid out three million pounds. What an absolute bargain. And for that centre-back role, I want someone with a lot of Premier League experience, which is why Victor Lindelof is absolutely spot on for that role. He's going to be a big part of our success this year. And I think we got a fantastic deal for Lindelof as we had to pay out only 18.9 million. As for the centre midfielder, there's only one player I want in that role. Fred from Manchester United, the best Brazilian player on the planet, 30 years old, 80 rated and a ton of Premier League experience. And with him only having 12 months left on his contract, we only had to pay out 14.7 million. And with those three signings made official, our transfer window is done. And this is the team heading into our first season back into the Premier League and honestly, I'm very happy with how it looks. This doesn't look like 
like a team that's just been promoted. This looks like an established Premier League side already. Admittedly, last season, I was worried we'd be in a relegation battle. However, looking at the team now, I can see that we're probably looking at maybe a mid-table finish. Boys, we've arrived in January and we are overperforming. We are eighth in the league after 21 games and we are only four points outside the top six. This is a nuts season so far. I told you, boys, Akpom would be a problem. 13 goals, three assists in 23 games. That is insane numbers. And unfortunately, we only have five million in our budget, so we can't do anything in this window, which means this is the team that is going to finish out our first season in the Premier League. But before we go any further, let's just take a look at the improvements in Unwan Sang, Brooks, Lindelof, in the big one, Ramsey, 82 rated. This man has shot up like a rocket. We are massively overperforming right now, but if we finish inside the top 10, I would be absolutely buzzing with that. We are at the end of our first season back in the Prem, and we have smashed it. 10th in the league, smack bang mid-table. I could not be happy with that finish. To be fair, boys, a couple of good signings next season, and we're definitely looking at a top six finish. If it wasn't for Akbom, though, I think we'd have been in trouble this season. 32 goals, 5 assists in 44 games is tremendous. But to be fair, finishing smack bang mid-table in our first season back with Middlesbrough is absolutely outstanding. But in order to improve on this, all we have to do is bolster the strength of our team and get rid of any weaknesses we've got. But before we go any further, if you enjoyed the video so far, leave it a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We're now into season three. We've got slightly less money to work with than we did last year in 42 million. Now, I am more than content with our midfield and strikers. I want to focus my attention on our defense and goalkeeper. We definitely need our attention on the goalkeepers. Navas at the end of this season is going to retire. And in terms of our defense, Fry is the weak link in that back four, so I'm going to bring in a better center back as well. Now, when I was searching for a keeper, I stumbled upon this guy, Dean Anderson, who still plays for United. He's 27 years old, 8 to 1 rated. He's got less than 12 months on his contract as well. And because his contract is running out, we only had to pay out a measly 15 million for Dean Henderson. And Burnley fans are going to hate me for this, but I'm going for Taylor Harwood Ballas as my centre back role. He's 22 years old, 77 rated. He's got bags of potential. And just like Dean Henderson, we only had to pay out 15 million for Taylor Harwood Ballas. And with those players now in our team, our transfer window is done. Which means the team now looks like this. And I'm going to put this out there. We are definitely in contention for a top six finish. We could be looking at European football next season. Obviously, the likes of Henderson and Harwood Ballas definitely need to improve a bit more. But over the course of this season, I'm expecting that to happen anyway. It is going to be very interesting to see how this team performs in the Premier League this season. We are 19 games into this season. And we are exactly where we were last year. Eighth in the league. You know what? I'm quite content with this. We can build from this. This year, though, everyone's taking time off. Even Akpom isn't even doing that well with only nine goals in 21 games. And with only nine million an hour budget, there's not really much we can do with the team. So this is the squad that is going to end season three. And unfortunately, Aaron Ramsey's picked up an injury that's going to put him out for three months as well. That injury is probably going to put a massive dent in our chances of getting top six football. But you know what? It's football. Anything can happen. We've arrived at the end of the season and we have creeped up one place from last year, ninth in the league. But that's disappointing in my eyes. I think we're capable of way better than that. To be fair though, we did have a good FA Cup and we got knocked out in the semi-finals by Arsenal. Looking at this team though, we are far better than ninth place. There's something that needs to change here. Looking at the stats though, our strikers and wingers were certainly on form. But I'll say it again, a team this good should be doing way better than ninth place. I think I need to change a few things in season four. When I went to season four and after properly looking at the squad, I think I know what's up with it. The 4-4-2 formation doesn't suit this team at all and it really restricts the creativity we've got in the squad. Now if we switch to a 4-3-3 attacking we've got the two wingers higher up, we've got a central attacking midfielder and our lone striker up top. Now obviously we don't have a central attacking midfielder yet but I do have a plan of action for that. I am currently converting Henry Brooks to a central attacking midfielder. He's only got 14 weeks to do it and I think he'd be insane in that role. And that means we'll need to bring in a better centre midfielder than Payero. And we have got no issues money wise this year as we've got 59 million to spend. And for that midfield role, Aston Frank has really caught my eye. He plays for Wolfsburg, he's 22 years old, and he's got really well-rounded stats. And I think we got a fantastic deal for Aston Frank, as we only had to pay out 19.8 million. Now, here's the thing. We still have over 35 million to spend after that transfer. And now that we've got the midfield sorted, we can further bolster the strength of this squad by bringing in a brand new fullback for Giles. And again, Burnley fans are going to hate me. I'm going for Ian Matson. He's playing for Chelsea right now. He's 23 
years old, 81 rated, and he's got less than 12 months on his contract. And because of that, we got an absolute bargain with this guy. We only had to pay 24.5 million. And after taking another look at the team, I realised we've only got one good goalkeeper, which is why I'm going for Dominic Livkovic, who's 84 rated, 30 years old, and the best part, he's a free agent. And with these players in our team now, our transfer window is done. Which means this is the squad heading into season four, and I've got very high hopes for what this team can actually accomplish this season. Now, Ian Matson was injured when we bought him, but he's only injured for two more weeks, meaning he'll be more than ready for when the Premier League season actually starts. Well, like I just said, I'm very excited to see what this team can accomplish. I think the formation change is going to be the difference maker this year. Well, boys, we've just arrived in January and we are fifth in the league after 20 games. I told you it was that formation holding us back. That's just football IQ right there. The stats still aren't all that impressive, though. Ten goals and two assists for Akpom. I expect better from this guy. And with only four million to spend in our transfer budget, we're not doing anything in this window. Which means this is the squad that is going to finish off season four in honestly. Honestly, I am loving how this team looks now. Aside from Harwood, Ballas and Aston Vrant, this team has got no witnesses in the slightest. Boys, I think we're looking at the team that is going to finally get us into European football. We've arrived at the end of this season and we finished inside the top six. I'm not too sure if that gets us Europa League, but fingers crossed it does. And we have finally won a trophy, beating the Bottle Jobs 2-1 in the FA Cup final. I'm just saying a couple more decent signings than this team is taking on anybody. And stats-wise, it's just as good. Akpom, Um Wan Sang and Aaron Ramsey coming in clutch. I said from the beginning that formation was the game changer. Now we just need to build upon this in season five. Boys, we're starting season five with a lot of money. 66 million to spend. I can definitely put that money to good use. Now looking at the team, it's clear where our weaknesses are. Our right centre back are with Ballas and our left centre midfielder Fred, who's definitely getting on now. But now we can't just bring in any old players. We need to be bringing in a lot of quality to this team. Now the player I'm bringing in now has had an incredible season. Joe Linton, who currently plays for Leicester City, is 29 years old, 83 rated, just what we need in the middle of the park. And because he only had 12 months left on his contract, we only had to pay out 24.3 million. And for that centre back role, this guy has really been lighting it up in Italy this season. Kim Menje, 29 years old, 84 rated, but we've got to be quick because Real Madrid have already approached him. And luckily, we got there just before Real Madrid did, and we paid out 30 million pounds for Kim Menje. And we have quite frankly bankrupted ourselves, so I think that's our window done. And now the team looks like this going into season five. The starting eleven is stacked with quality, and the subs bench actually isn't looking too bad either. Either. I'm telling you now, we are definitely getting Champions League football next season. And we have qualified for the Europa League as we got a top six finish last season. We're in Group E alongside Lil, SK, Stoomgrass and Sepsi OSK. Quite honestly, that is a weak group and I'm expecting us to top it no problem. Boys, we've arrived in January and it is looking very goddamn good. We are fourth in the league. We have finally got into that top four. But this means nothing. We've got to stay there till the end of the season. And just like I wanted to, we've topped Group E with flying colours. But I'm struggling to see how these stats are absolutely abysmal. And as you can see, with only 4 million, there's not a great deal we can do with that money. So the team you're looking at is the team that is going to finish off Season 5 and hopefully get us Champions League football for next season, whether it's the top 4 finish or the Europa League, but preferably I'd like both. Boys, we've arrived at the end of the season and we've done it. We have got top 4 football. We're in the Champions League next season regardless. Honestly, I'm so goddamn relieved we pulled it off this year. And on top of that, we've got another trip to the collection, we beat Liverpool 4-3 on Penos in the Community Shield final. And on top of that, we've beaten Arsenal 3-1 in the FA Cup final. And on top of that, we've beaten AC Milan in the Europa League final. That's three trophies we've won this season. I'm telling you now, that formation change was a genius move on my half. Just check these stats. Akbom, Ramsey, Umwan, Sang, Jolinton, Brooks and Asta, Frank all coming in clutch this season. This year, we pulled off a madness. Top four football and three trophies in our cabinet. We're in the Champions League in season six, so we have to pull out all the stops next year. Boys, we're starting season six with our highest budget yet, 134 million. And don't get me wrong, I love how this team is looking right now, but if we want to be serious contenders in the Champions League, we've definitely got to improve it. I think we need a new centre back for Lindelof, a new right back, and a new centre midfielder for Aston Rank. Once we've got those positions sorted out, I genuinely think this is the Champions League contender. Now, the centre back I'm going for has already won the Champions League. Andreas Christensen, 30 one years old, 85 rated, he's exactly what we need in that back line. And for a player of Andreas Christensen's calibre, we got an absolute bargain as we spent 36.7 million. Now for the fullback, I'm going for a World Cup winner, Molina is 29 years old, 84 rated, he got some absolutely cracked stats.
stats as well. But Molina really wasn't cheap in the slightest as we had to pay out 37.1 million for him. And for that centre midfielder role, I'm going for Mikel Marino, who's 31 years old, 85 rated, just what we need to bolster that midfield. But United really didn't want to part ways with him as we had to pay out 46 million on the dot. And it's safe to say with only 600k in our budget left, our transfer window's done. Which means this is the team entering season 6 and into the Champions League for the very first time. I'm actually so happy with how the team looks. It's world class all around the pitch and even on the subs bench as well. Now obviously it is our first time in the Champions League with Middlesbrough, but that doesn't mean a damn thing to me. I want to win it first time. And speaking of the Champions League, we're in Group C alongside Inter Milan, Real Betis and Legia Warzawa. Now the odds are Inter Milan will probably top the group with flying colours, but I don't care about the odds. I want Middlesbrough to top it with flying colours regardless. Boys, we're in January and it isn't looking good in the Premier League. We're eight in the league after 20 games. What the freaking hell has happened to this team? But we've topped Group C with flying colours. I don't get it. How can we do so well in Europe but do so terribly in the league? But stats-wise, it's looking decent. Akpom's got his shooting boots back on. 19 goals, 1 assist and 31 games. And as you can see, we ain't doing anything in this transfer window with 4 million. So this is the team entering the knockouts for the very first time. Honestly, if we're doing well in Europe, I don't see any reason why we can't go on a mad run and win the entire damn thing first time. And after just just creeping past Club Bruges in the round of 16 and just getting past Man City in the quarters, we are in the semi-finals. We've got a test now, boys. Real Madrid, the kings of Europe themselves. We couldn't have asked for a bigger team in the semi-finals to play against, could we? Nevertheless, away from home in the first leg, how is it going to go? Oh my god, we could actually pull this off first time. We are at minimum a draw away from reaching the Champions League final at home. Second leg, don't let me down. Oh! My God, 1-0 wins both times. We have beaten them 2-0 on aggregate. We've beaten the Kings of Europe and we are in the final. And in comparison to City and Madrid, we've got a pretty nice team in the final. Marseille, the French Giants. But at the end of the Premier League campaign, we have done shocking seventh in the league. What the hell has happened to us this season in the Prem? We did, however, beat United to win the Community Shield again. But we couldn't get past Man City to win the FA Cup. Boys, just take a look at these stats. Akpom, Ramsey, Marino, Umwan, Sang, Brooks, every one of them players have done their bit and then some this season. But Brooks is a moron. He's got himself freaking suspended for the biggest game of his goddamn career. I think we're going to have to use a 4-3-3 flat and put Aston Vrank in the team instead. To be fair, even with that change, it is still a goddamn good team. But first, let's just take a look at some hidden gems I found along the way. Umwan, Sang, 89 rated. Akpom, 86 rated. Ian Matson, 88 rated. And Aaron Ramsey, 91 rated. If I remember right, he cost me only 3 million to begin with. This team is honestly insane, but we've got one more game to prove that we're actually the best team in the world. Marino is on the ball. Oh, that's a nice ball. Um, on Sang. Let's see how quick you are, lad. Come on, show your pace, show your pace. He's taking out. Oh my god, he could go all the way here. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that's a good save. Um, on Sang again. This guy is causing all end of issues. Akpom. What? No, Akpom was there. This should be 1 0. Why that ball didn't go to Akpom is a different story, but Luis Diaz is through and he has smashed it. Bomb right, Binzo. We're 1 0 down. In inside 15 minutes. Shafted isn't the word here. We should be 1-0 bleeding. Nope, not 1-0 down. Ian Matson versus Ivan Turn. Jesus, the size difference between these two is ridiculous. They're playing in that. Oh, there we go. Great. Oh, no, maybe not great defending. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Jesus. How aren't we 2 0 down there? We need to book our bloody ideas up, or we are going to get our arses handed to us. Akpom. Can we find Umon Sang? Yes, we can. Use your pace. Tight. Oh, it oh, wasn't freaking good enough. See that run? Lovely. Umon Sang. Again, I tell you what, Umon Sang is causing no end of issues. Akpom. Can you get there? Oh, this could, this could be great. That is the sweatiest goal I've ever scored. The triple sweat, but I don't care. Aston Frank coming in for Brook has put us one apiece with Marseille. This is beautiful play. All that came from Umwan Sang as well. Aston Frank finishing off an empty net, and we're back in this game now. Umwan Sang again. Are we going to find the return? Umwan Sang, one on one with the goalkeeper, and he smashed that top left bins. Umwan Sang is honestly my favourite player on this game now. Such a good hidden gem. Aaron Ramsey's turn to show what he can do. He's, I tell you what, he's left Tony for dead. He's going to see that ball to Akpom. Akpom's going to cut back inside. Aaron Ramsey to make it 3-1. This front three is honestly on fire, man. There's no defence in this world that could stop these three from scoring. Unless Marseille put their ideas up in the second half, we could bang at least five or six goals against them easily. On one sang. 
he's found it. Oh, this is just too easy at this point. Akpom. Oh my god. He hasn't scored yet. He's got to score before the end of this game. Everyone else bleeding has. Marseille's corner. They're getting into the game a little bit now. We cannot allow that to happen. They get one goal back and it is squeaky bum time. Oh no, Chuck Wasey's in behind. Our goalkeeper is honestly on fire, man. It's stupid that we got him on a free. Marseille, oh my god. Livkovic, get there again. Livkovic is on fire. Ian Matson on the ball. He's looking for a run. He's going to Oh, look at him. Oh, look at that. Oh my lord. Oh, Monsang. A chance to get a second goal. Oh my, that is just sensational. Marseille, you're making it too easy for me, guys. I mean, at this point, I'm tempted to score an OG just to make it a bit fairer for them. Ramsey is on the ball against Karsdorp. He's leaving him for dead. How the hell did Marseille get to the final when this... Oh my, just what is going on? Marseille, you're absolutely trash. It's mental. Umwon Sang's got two. Aaron Ramsey's got two. And Akpom hasn't scored yet. I feel so sorry for him. I'm honestly half tempted just to put my controller down and let the AI just try to score against me when I'm not playing. You're just making it way too easy for me there. We could get a six before the end of this game. Honestly, God. Umwon Sang. You can cut inside. Can we get Akpom his goal? Go on. Akpom to get the goal that he wants. Oh my God, Akpom! Akpom, that was the chance. Boys, that is the full-time whistle. 5-1 against Marseille in the Champions League final. We're the best team in the world. But I'm gutted Akpom didn't get a goal in the final, man. It took us six seasons to take this team that took the playoffs to become the best team in the world. And if you enjoyed this video, click somewhere right here to watch me do this with Rome.